Good day! Happy Thanksgiving, everyone. Today, that's actually exactly what we want to talk about is Thanksgiving. Mm -hmm. um, first, I'm going to share a secret about Eric. He loves Thanksgiving. I do. And it's primarily, not entirely, which we're going to talk about, but he loves the food. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Loves yeah. turkey, oh. mashed potatoes, mm -hmm. pumpkin pie, but above all, the man loves his gravy. I do. I, I can't get enough of this stuff. <laughs> Seriously, I will offend chefs asking them to put more on it than they want to. Yeah, and, and her, my mom loves him deeply. She brings my own bowl. It'll sit there next to my plate. And other people look at like, why is he getting his own bowl? And I'll say, keep your hands off that stuff, sucker. It's my baby. Yes, so he loves Thanksgiving. I do. I, I love the food, and it's my favorite meal, my favorite type of food. But that's not the real reason why it's my personal favorite holiday. The real reason why Thanksgiving is my personal favorite holiday is because of, a, because of a simple spiritual principle that whatever you're thankful for, you get more of. And if you're thankful, abundance flows. That's why thankfulness is one of our company's core values. And we have seen time and time again that as we practice thankfulness, God has blessed us. So we're going to talk about some of the blessings that we've experienced in 2016. Yeah, we're going to give our top two each. I'm going to start with um, an oldie but a goodie, and that's my team. I love my team. Awesome sauce. <laughs> yes, I... I'm constantly impressed and amazed by my team. I've got a couple shout outs mm -hmm. I want to do. Firstly, I want to thank um, Cassandra. She did these awesome ornaments. So cool. Um, for the clients that were just having a rough time. She handmade them. They're gorgeous. On her own time. I know. Because she loves them. And I know Melanie's doing some cool stuff in the South Bay. I don't actually want to blow any of her surprises. So I'll just say that uh, she's rallying the troops, getting some mm -hmm. things going uh, to make Christmas Very special cool. there as well. And then we just had an awesome prom. We had 150 people show up. Uh, we had a grease theme. So we had pinkies and we had poodle skirts. And it was super fun and super awesome um, prom here in the North State. And it was a special occasion for a lot of people. Exactly. So piggybacking on that, the first thing I'm thankful for this year is just once again, the life-changing and life-giving generosity of our guides and our coaches. You guys in the field are our heroes. That's not a cliche. It's not an overused word for mm -hmm. you. It really is true. Uh, the way you give yourselves day in, day out to your clients is tremendous. Uh, and uh, this year, just saw a picture this week of a guy getting fitted for a tuxedo for clients in the North State, getting fitted for a tuxedo. And he would have gotten to do that if his coach hadn't taken the time to take him. And I think about the crews. We've already talked about this in earlier vlogs, but again, I just, I, I still haven't gotten over what I saw of our coaches and our clients and our staff, excuse me, giving themselves to their clients, being patient in a new and scary environment. And it's that kind of dedication that tr changes lives. So thank you for that. Mm -hmm. The second thing I'm thankful for will surprise you. If you know me at all, you'll be shocked that these words are coming out of my mouth. That is, I am thankful in 2016 for the California State Legislature. Yeah, I did say that. And um, <laughs> it's, mine was a little late. Uh, exactly. <laughs> Who is this? Who, did I, who is she married to now? I was like, wait a minute. What did you just say? Exactly. They did it. They kept their promise. Uh, they'd been promising for a few years and kept delaying it. They finally kept their promise, increased our funding to a level that allows us to kind of have a, a right-sized um, structure at Compass where we've been able to pay staff and management a lot more money. Um, and it's it's really been um, uh, a catalytic for Compass. Mm -hmm. uh, it's helped us with uh, all areas of our recruiting and our retention. But more, but more important to me, it feels good. It feels good to to to, to receive more money for hard work and to give to pay more money for hard work. So, mm -hmm. thank you, California State Legislature, and hopefully, what you thankful for. You'll get... So, um, I want to kind of go off of that and say that we're really grateful for our new folks. We have grown a lot in mm -hmm. our ability to supervise yep. and support our staff and our clients and we have some we have some fun new people first of all we're really grateful we were able to add a new position in um the east bay we are added a new team builder and she's been with us for a little while but it's still just oh, we're just grateful to have new positions we were mm -hmm. able to add Kavi mm -hmm. in the East Bay and then it's been fun to see some old leads but goodies return we yeah. had a lot of new face uh, old faces that came back and are mm -hmm. now new faces Welcome home. um yeah so we had Keith who was a um 
field staff in South Bay actually move away, move far, far away, come back, and is now a case facilitator in our East Bay Concord office. Uh, we also had Sherry and Alex come back. Uh, they were both ILCs in the far north region, went away to uh, for different reasons, for moving and career opportunities. But when they had an opportunity to come back and uh, as an ILSM, they've come back and they're already doing great work here in the north Absolutely. state. And then we've had people that have kind of followed us and wanted to be a part of our team and have that opportunity. We're hoping to open our doors to a new office in Tehama County in 2017. And we were able to bring on Natalie as a case facilitator who knows uh, Tehama County really well. And she'll be running that office when we get it up and running in SLS. Zandy will be helping in ILS, but we got Natalie coming on board. So that'll be really fun to have a new office in 2017, official office in Tehama County. So we're also grateful for that. I guess mm-hmm. I got to Let's throw a bonus, throw a bonus in. in there. <laughs> All right. Well, um, we are also just grateful you took the five minutes to watch our blog and um we'll see you again here soon absolutely happy thanksgiving everyone bye-bye